what I want to talk about is something that is not something that you can talk about really. And it doesn't exist. However foolish I am to sit here and try to convey something that is, it's pregnant with possibility. It's, uh, it's just right there. I can feel it. I can taste it. I can scent, almost, almost can see it. And, um, it's almost like, is there a way to allow that to come forward or to express itself, I guess, because it's certainly not up to me. <laughs> but I can feel it. And I regret that I've harmed my body. Not that I blame myself. It's not like I could have done anything different. And if there's a way to just accept that, that this vessel is broken, um, and find a way to express the truth through this broken vessel, then wouldn't that be something? Without falling into patterns, without falling into mimicry, um, how do we express this in a way that is me, that's fresh, that's new, that's now, that's authentic, that's all of these words that aim to give the sense of aliveness or something like that without taking words from other people. Uh, it's not that there's anything wrong with that. It's just my own judgment against that. If I'm me, why don't I sound like me? Is this what I sound like? It's weird, it's strange. My voice, I feel, is so small. Just, hello, hello, it's in here somewhere. Um, what would it be like to fully inhabit this body? I don't know. I want to know, I think. Part of me wants to know. Whenever something is defined, it just doesn't feel real. Whenever something is labeled or named, it doesn't give any actual representation. It doesn't actually say what that is. So with communicating, with communication, um, how do we find the path or the movement that allows us to ride or synchronize with that flow of the nowness or the life or the moment? And it then doesn't matter what words we're saying, actually, because we're not talking about words. We're not tr defining things. We're not trying to get into the flow of anything. We're not doing anything. Um, we're not chasing a feeling. We're not, ch we're not defining or pinning down anything. And yet, I can feel myself right now reaching, grasping, chasing, and not breathing. Inherently with YouTube, there's an inclination to speak, 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 and not to listen. Because it's a, you know, one-way communication, but not really. So how do I listen to you? While I'm sitting in this room, 
alone, apparently alone, how do I listen to you in this two-dimensional or infinitely multi-dimensional way? And not to assume that I'm here in my space and my time now, and I will send this message to you in your space and your time then. Because to you, that's now. To you, this is now. To me, this is also now. So what's the difference? The only difference is space and time, I guess. Why am I even looking for the difference? Well, because that's what separates us from ourselves, is the difference. So what is that? How do we explore that? How do we feel into it? Why would we want to do that? What's the point of doing that? Well, because mm, I don't know what else to do. <laughs> I, I don't know what else to do. Um, do I need to be doing something? Mm, not really irrelevant because I am doing something. I'm always doing something. And you can't get into the words like, oh, I, yes, yeah, so doing, oh, something. Like, it's not, that's not what I meant. I didn't mean that there are things and I'm doing them and using them and there's objects and stuff. Again, the, the language is separation. Like, maybe it's different when it's not English, but in English, at least as my experience is, it's separation, definition, separation. And there's nothing, and I'm not trying to diminish the usefulness of this language. And yet, I am speaking. I'm not trying to make this into something. I don't want to, or no, I'm not trying to. But it's happening anyway, is what I'm trying to say. It's happening without my inf influence. Um, inter yeah, influence. It's just like, I'm happening without my influence. I'm just happening, right? And we don't need to examine it. Like this, this can just happen without explanation. It can happen without examination. It can, it doesn't need to be looked at because it's already happened. It's like, your looking is like a weird sort of echolocation sort of sonar kind of thing with the light reflecting and reflecting and reflecting and reflecting. And it's just, that's just happening. It's just happening. It's like, you're not doing anything to make that happen. It's just happening. And I'm not feeling like this is um, any kind of profound realization. I sound like an idiot is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Cause I don't, I don't see anything. I don't see anything. You know, I'm blind or you could say I'm in the dark, right? So I'm, uh, where am I? What's going on? Kind of a situation. And trying to describe that is, well, you know what? There's no points of reference. So what am I describing? I'm in the dark. Well, it seems to be dark here and it's dark here and I can't tell the difference between here and here. They're all the same here. So, you know, I don't see, if I see the light with my hands, yes, of course, my hand is here and this hand is here. Not the same. But from my point of view, it's all the same and it's all darkness. So I'm not in the light. I'm not in the light. And, and that's not to say that I'm not in the light. It just means that there is darkness that uh, darkness within darkness. What's the, what's that? <laughs> okay, all right. So you know, again, uh, I'm sure there's some sort of no. I'm not sure. There's always this like inclination to say there's some sort of hidden some something. There's something that's something that's hidden somewhere, and it's it's not. There is no thing that's hidden anywhere. And um, I burned all of my books because I was so sick of words and reading. 
Um, that was like 2014, probably. Um, so but, uh, 10 years ago now. And I really stopped reading at that point. And I've gotten dumber. I've really gotten dumber. So <laughs> way to go, self. You know? I, um, it, it's almost, it's not embarrassing. It's almost kind of silly. Like what a choice to make. Burn all of your books and stop reading. Okay. Yeah. Sure. I was like 29 at the time, maybe 30, 29, 30. Cool. Yeah. Let's spend our entire decade of the thirties not reading. Like why, why would I, <laughs> what a weird choice. What a weird choice. I mean, I guess some people, I guess people don't read, right? That's normal. People don't read. It's okay. But to spend 10 years not reading and then try to come on YouTube and talk to people. It's so weird. It's such a weird choice. Why, what is it? Why am I I'm like trying? To, what am I trying to do here? What is this? What is it that I'm trying to do? <laughs> stupid. This is so stupid. It's so stupid. Jeez. So, it's so stupid. It's so stupid, you know, the, I don't even, I shouldn't even say this, but, you know, I remember when, um, back in my early twenties, I shouldn't even say this, but when I, when I realized the sort of simplicity of life and, and really, I shouldn't even say this. No, I should just make sure that I don't say it the wrong way, I guess. Um, You don't need to know. You don't need, like, you don't need to know is the thing, right? You don't, you really don't need to know. Um, why are we trying to figure it out? I'm saying we as if, <laughs> why am I trying to figure it out? Um, what am I trying to figure out? I'm saying words, I'm, I'm hearing it, and I think I'm, Oh, <laughs> yeah, not going to get there through words. I'm trying to, all right, let's have a conversation. Okay. I'm trying to get somewhere. Is that what's happening to yourself? Yeah, you are trying to go somewhere. Uh-huh. And where would that be? Where am I trying to go? You know, you're confusing me, is what I'm saying. Trying to go somewhere, where am I trying to go? It's confusing. Language is confusing. 